We're going to give that debate a preview right now. All right? And we're going to carry it live tomorrow at 6. Remember, Trump v. Biden, yeah. 6 p.m. tomorrow, but we've got the war room at 5 o'clock. Right. We're going to put together a, a group of people, differing opinions, yep. coming from different uh, viewpoints, all uh, preparing you for it with um, some of the things to watch. And I'm competitive. Let's let's preview it better than Jim and Jamie. What do you say? <laughs> okay. Let's Time for it. presidential essentials. All right. We've all seen the mugshot. And you know who embraced it more than anybody else? The black population. I want to tell my Republican friend, get ready, pal. You're going to enter a problem. We're beating Biden by so much. Probably get indicted three or four more times by tomorrow. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Well, MAGA really uh, represents 48% of the Republican party. No, it represents 96% and maybe 100%. Presidential Essentials with Bruce and Gatos. KTAR News, 92.3 FM. All right, let's do it. Presidential Essentials, only the need to know stuff about the 2024 presidential race. All right, Bruce, I'm going to hit you with this one. I'm ready. Who's the favorite to win this debate? Wow. I know. Favorite to Who's win? Who's the favorite right now? I would, I would tell you, I think it's Biden because the bar has been set so unbelievably low. But then, okay, go ahead. That, that, that mm. short of passing out halfway through, taking a nap, <laughs> or falling off the edge of the stage, Biden can declare victory because he didn't do all the things that people are going to claim that he's going to do. But what if he gets up there slurring his words, he's getting lost, he's staring into space, and just because he doesn't fall off the stage... You know, he's not really coherent. Then Okay. It then like then it seems like he could lose it. So potentially who's, who's the favorite? Like, cause if you look at this, Trump should be the favorite. Now, I think Trump has has lost part of his mind, just like Biden has lost part of his mind. Okay. Just like RFK lost part of his brain. But that was due to a worm. A worm and a good excuse. Ate his brain. Um the two men who will be on stage, yeah. I don't think are are physically and mentally prepared to be the president anymore. And so when you see, the, you know, who's going to be the favorite? Well, see, I would say Trump, but there's no crowd. Trump mm. likes the crowd. He plays plays off of it. And he plays a crowd terrific. Yeah, he's, he plays for laughs or whatever, and insults. He feeds off there'll the crowd. Be, there'll be no reaction Correct. from the, the camera. So I think I think that hurts Donald Trump. I think yeah. CNN doing the debate, who knows? Are the, are the uh, Dana Bash and uh, Jake Tapper, are they going to bend over backwards and try and be fair because most people don't think they're going to be fair? Because then if that's the case, maybe that'll help Trump a little well, bit. Well, that's, that's him trying to set the bar low. Okay. The, uh, the, the, Biden, the bar for Biden is low that, you know, he won't be able to stay awake during it, and he's going to be drugged up and all this stuff. The the Trump is, well, I'm on CNN, and they hate me, and Jake Tapper and Dan Abash, right. they hate me. Okay. Well, uh, you know, and so, uh, so you that's know, a good luck with for, to me. He likes that, though. Donald Trump likes when people don't like him. Donald Trump always needs a, a villain to go after. Mm. And that's when he's best. And so if he can if he can make it seem like the two uh you know the, the the two journalists or whatever you want to call them are are against him, he likes to play the victim. So maybe that's maybe actually the two people CNN have chosen is going to help Trump. But we're also being subjective, and I, I, I feel the need to point this out. Mm. Uh, we talk about winners and losers in debates. There's no such thing. It is subjective. It's like looking at a painting and saying it's a good painting, it's a bad painting. But there's sometimes when you look at, at, at a debate— When's the you're last like, time somebody lost the debate? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't have an— I don't. I know that the last time the two got in the same room, they both lost. But, but and I think Trump was worse. But my point is yeah. that it's very subjective. Yeah, but you could kind of tell who's. You could kind of tell. Oh, that person short won. Short of a huge gaffe. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, or short of falling off the edge of the stage, mm. both sides will claim victory. All right. Presidential essentials. Only the need to know stuff about the 2024 uh, presidential race. Should Biden and Trump come out swinging right away? Mm. Um. I think if you're Joe Biden, you have got to show me somebody really doesn't want to vote for you. Um, you got to show me you got some juice left. Because I think Trump you, has you, you mean plenty energy. energy. Yeah. I think Trump has plenty of energy, 
plenty of juice, even though he slowed down certainly in the last few years because he's old too. Um, I mean, Trump can go on a stage and talk for an hour. Now, I understand most of it you're like, I have no idea where he's well, going he with this. He's talking about uh, batteries and sharks. Boats and sharks <laughs> and batteries. But he can go and do it and at times be very funny and, and draw the crowd in. For Joe Biden, he's got to show me that. Like he's with it? Yeah. Because I think he's not. But who knows? I mean, I, I know that we, you and I have talked about this, and it, maybe it's not fair. I think they drugged him up on, at the State of the Union, and I thought he did a good job. Do you think they drugged him up? No. Come on. No. He was a totally different man, Bruce. I, I think he, it's like anything else. You know, they're going give, to give him a good night's sleep before, and you know, he'll he be went, fine. He went on at nine in the, at night, five hours past his bedtime, and he was he You was don't loaded. think Trump's drugged up? I think of course Trump is I do. completely drugged up. Of course I do. Yeah. yeah. But I think he's drugged up in the in a different way. I think they give him like downers. I think they're giving him like like a Xanax to calm him all, down. All the word is it's Adderall, so you know, try, try well, to get could, him to focus on something. Yeah, no, I get that, and I agree with you on that. But I but if you say that Trump is drugged up, how do you not say that Biden was not drugged up? So okay, f f b fine. I have no concept. I don't know if either one are, but they're both going to be drugged up. How's that? You think they're both going to be drugged up? Why wouldn't they? Well, let's do it. All right. Last thing. Does the how many times? How many times does Biden call him a felon? Well, like an over under. Oh yeah. You want to bet on it? Is that what yeah, I say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's do the it. over under? Yeah. I'm going to say Eight. once. I don't think he's going to go down that road. I think he's afraid that he's going that Trump is he gives Trump a wide open shot at his kid. No, I think that's a win for Biden. Okay. Eight. Okay. Eight. Yeah. Presidential Essentials, only the need to know stuff about the 2024 presidential race. So uh, 5 o'clock tomorrow, mm -hmm. we will have a war room, a symposium of whatever we call it, <laughs> whatever the hell it is. Do whatever you remember what it is, Becky Lynn? It's a political uh, symposium. Political symposium. Yeah. Okay. That okay. sounds great. Thank Useless you, Becky Lynn. Let's go with that. I like that. I like and then that. we'll give you the uh, – we'll, we'll carry the actual debate, uh, the, the car crash of, of what it will be at 6 o'clock tomorrow. Thanks for watching Outspoken with Bruce and Gatos. Tap to watch more from KTAR News and click the button in the middle to subscribe.